Ever lost an important file and wished you had a backup? Windows File History is a lifesaver. It automatically saves versions of your files so you can restore them anytime. In this video, I'll show you how to enable file history in Windows. It's super easy. Let's get started. To get started, type File History. Then click on File History Settings from the search results. This opens the File History control panel where we can set up backups. File History works best with an external drive or a secondary internal drive. If you haven't connected one yet, plug in your USB hard drive or SSD now. Windows will automatically detect it. Once your backup drive appears here, simply click Turn On. From this point, Windows will automatically save copies of your files so you can restore them later if needed. Just click on Run now if you want to backup immediately without waiting for scheduled backups. If the drive was not automatically detected or a wrong one was detected, Select Drive lets you pick a new location, usually an external hard drive, USB flash drive, or network location. Yes, you can pick a network location, say if you have a folder on a file server, There is also the exclude folders. In file history, the exclude folders option is for telling Windows which folders you don't want to back up. By default, file history backs up all the important user folders, like documents, pictures, videos, desktop, music, and any libraries you've added. Exclude folders lets you remove specific folders from being backed up. This is useful if you have folders with large, unimportant files, e.g. movie downloads, temporary project folders. One thing you should know is that file history only backups what is in your user account. In file history, the advanced settings give you more control over how backups are made and stored. Here's what you'll find there. How often files are saved, by default, file history saves changes every hour. In advanced settings, you can change this from every 10 minutes to once a day. If you work on important files constantly, you might want it to back up more often. How long to keep saved versions? You can set windows to keep old file versions forever or only for a set time, e.g. one month, three months, one year. Limiting the time helps save space on the backup drive. You should use System Image Backup alongside File History because they protect your data in different but complementary ways. File History only covers personal files. It does not back up Windows system files, installed programs, or application settings. System Image Backup protects your entire system. A system image is a complete snapshot of your entire computer, Windows installation, programs, settings, and files. If your hard drive fails or Windows gets corrupted, you can restore the system image and get everything back exactly as it was without reinstalling Windows or your apps. Using both means you're protected from small mistakes, accidentally deleting a file, and big disasters, complete system crash or malware attack. And that's how you enable file history in Windows. Now your files are safe and you can recover them anytime. If this helped, give the video a thumbs up and subscribe for more tech tips. Got questions? Drop them in the comments. I'll help out. See you in the next one.